Welcome to the channel folks, this is Trillionaire and today there's been a bit of a stir up in just under 24 hours before EthConnect ICO was to commence. More on that in a moment, but if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can follow what's happening with the EthConnect ICO to stay informed. Also be sure to hit the like button so others planning to invest in this ICO can stay informed as well. Now let's jump right in. Yes folks, the ICO has been pushed two days back from Halloween morning to November 2nd at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or November 3rd midnight if you're on Tokyo time. After EthConnect was offline for a half day, not long after opening up the Bitcoin wallet functionality, some users were complaining about not getting their Bitcoin deposits reflected in their accounts. EthConnect did not help matters by stating due to some reasons about the server and ensure the interests of all members, we will start ICO two days later. Wow. What I'm getting from this is they were likely attacked in some form or another, or they would have given users a heads up prior to going down. The tweet about adding Ethereum functionality in a few hours after announcing the Bitcoin wallet functionality gives credence to that theory since it was sent out not long before the website went down. They claimed the site went down because the system had been overloaded from having so many transactions. I have no idea if this is due to a hack, a DDoS attack, or whatever that pretty much fits the bill, or if it was just a legitimate upgrade like they say, um, which is exciting for those who want to take part in the ICO. But regardless, it does look bad on EthConnect and it may dissuade quite a few people who are considering investing. Many more people are greedy, greedy individuals, so I still estimate high sales for their ICO. Fact is, these guys aren't the best at communicating, but they do communicate, so I'll give them that. Aside from their poor reasons and lack of detailed explanation, which is to be expected from a team that is obviously not native English speakers or just having a hell of a time trolling the users, EthConnect claims to have upgraded their servers and are good to go for the ICO at this point. So it's full steam ahead, I suppose. A couple words of caution if you're going to invest fconnect.net is the proper address not .org or any other dot whatever so be very uh, cautious of that uh, these websites do have full-on functionality they even allow you to access fconnect's horrible white paper the site is risky enough as is so it goes without saying you need to double check your browser to ensure you're on the right website especially if getting there from a google search uh, one can always use my affiliate link in the description box below if that makes you feel more comfortable and uh, for those of you new I'd encourage you to use that affiliate link only after you've watched my review on EthConnect and you're still interested. Do not put your rent money down on this ICO. Uh, don't put your food money down or any other money you wouldn't take into a casino and put down on your favorite number in roulette because this ICO by EthConnect is a gamble to say the least. Some say they haven't seen their money reflected in their EthConnect accounts after depositing, while others say they have deposited and withdrawn several times. I haven't tested it yet as I'm waiting for the Ethereum wallet to come online, but I will test as soon as that happens and I will let you folks know in my next EthConnect video, which I anticipate releasing tomorrow. For those of you interested in investing, make sure you watch my review video before deciding so you understand the risks involved with such an ICO. And if you're still interested, you can help support the channel by using the affiliate link in the video description box below. A major thank you to all those that use it and thank you to everyone watching, liking, and all the new subscribers that show love. The love is real and I appreciate all you folks. That's all for today's update folks. Be sure to check out my other videos on EthConnect for more news and a full analysis of the EthConnect ICO. Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notifications to get the latest updates. The question of the day is, 
Will you be investing or staying out of FConnect during the ICO? Thanks so much, folks. This has been Trillionaire. Peace.